Part of the problems that we've been having with her um, are the recall. And again, because she has a really strong opposition reflex. And the prong collar, we have a backup just because these prong collars are not really designed for dogs to put a lot of weight on. And uh, the chain collar is a backup, so if she decides that she wants to put too much pressure on the prong collar, if it, if it happens to open up, it's not going, she's not going to be able to escape. Because she's a runner. She's a runner. And when she's out there going, woohoo, free willy, mm. you go, Lucy, and she's like, screw you. Yeah. Okay, exactly. so, so <laughs> we've been working on that a bit. But basically, when you call her, and again, I, she, she, wants, she doesn't want to leave the table. She wants, she does not like being on the cold concrete. <laughs> All right. Um, so basically, when I call her, I'm going to lure her with a treat. I'm going to let her know I have it. Good girl. See that? Lucy, here. Now, you see how she resists? As soon as she feels that pressure, she quits. No. Here. Now, I'm not going to pull on her. I'm going to let her figure it out. Now stop. Oh, look at that. Now, as horrible as that looked, okay. So, the thing is, when she's on the ground, she'll come right away. It's just she doesn't want to leave the table. She puts up this big fuss. Okay? So now, there's it here. Uh, yeah. I don't want it, but I will, because I know it's there. All right? And the thing is, it's not because, you know, she's being beat on. Her opinion is high. Her opinion of herself is very high. She's a princess. Hmm. Okay. It's really the one princess in the And that's me. <laughs> yeah, the princess is you. Mm -hmm. She's the lady in waiting, whatever they call yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the dog doesn't, the dog's not the one that sets the tone. And she's all about that. Here, come here. Good. No, no. Here. Good. Sit. Very nice. Good girl. And the same thing with heel. She doesn't want to stay with you. And again, I'm, the, the reason we're using a specific collar is to teach her that the most comfortable place she can be is with you, as opposed to not with you. All right, and she really struggles with that, even because I mentioned this to you before, especially with my husband and my son, whom she, en she enjoys. She loves them both. But she's like, when we're walking, I'm going to pull like a freight train because I don't want to be near you. Okay? So we're really working on that. And those are the two remaining things that we have to iron through. Let's go. You see how she already pulls? Mm -hmm. She's got enough room to be right, but she's got to find that place. Let's go. Good girl. She's got to find that. That's it. There we go. Where there is no pressure on her. And then when she finds it, not only is it rewarding for her to be there, uh, because it's more comfortable for her to be there, she gets rewarded physically in a tangible way for being there. Now, if you notice, if she was all, all upset, she wouldn't be taking food from her. She's basically of those, you know, I'll take your food, not as a crush thing. I really want it, but I don't want to have to work for it. So we had, transitionally, that just recently started happening the more we started making requests for her behavior. So because again, as we've already established, we go to ask her to do something, and she's like, oh no! And all of a sudden pressure stops. As a tactic, it no longer works here, so she's like, I'll make you make sure that you know that I'm suffering horribly. But I'll still take your food. <laughs> ah. Good. Now the reward is what? It's not what's in my hand. What is it? Oh. Where does she want to be right now? Oh, wow. right. Yeah. On the training table. So I'm going to let her. Okay. Because now I can be up here and my little feet won't be cold. Oh. She has carpet feet. You know what that means? It's a dog who lives her life on carpet. <laughs> and they're pink, too. And the pigment of her skin is so light, even with that pink on her nose. You have to be really careful with dogs like this, because they can get some skin cancer. I really? would bet. Yeah. I mean, that you could, it's yeah. all pink right under there. Um, she has... 
she's very fair. She's got real pink skin. Um, and although she's got good hair, you know, she's got good hair covering. When they have really, really pink, you know, these, these, her little ears, come here, sweetheart. Her little ears are so thin yeah. that they're gossamer. You can practically see through portions of them. Mm -hmm. And when they have that real thin hair on their nose and stuff, uh, sunscreen when they go outside. Yeah. Even in the winter, oh yeah, I got a dog upstairs right now that's got skin cancer. Regular sunscreen. Yep. Yep. I know you're so cold. I'm so sorry. So what we're going to do 